So if you're a hardworking person or if you're just a person who has a normal job, whatever the case may be, you're waking up at six o'clock in the morning to get ready to go to work. Six o'clock. For you to get to your job by 8.30, 8.45, to begin your shift at nine o'clock in the morning. Between that time, you may be getting your kids ready for school, dropping them off at daycare, kissing your, your spouse or loved one, whoever it is, uh, goodbye, wishing them an amazing day. And then you're off to the system of work. You gotta make money, you gotta pay bills, you got a mortgage to pay, rent to pay, whatever the case may be, you're off to work, okay? You're working from nine until five. Most people live within 30 minutes to an hour away from their job. By the time you get home at 6.30, 7 o'clock, you see your children, the people who you love the most in this world, or the people you should love the most in this world, outside of your spouse and yourself, obviously. And you get to spend an hour or two hours with them five days a week. So for five days a week, you're seeing your child between two and three hours. Some less, some a little more. That comes up to 15 hours a week. It's 24 hours in a day, okay? On the weekends, you wanna go get with your friends or you wanna spend time with your family. It's a little bit different. Let's omit that from the equation for now. And let's talk about the Monday through Friday systematic uh, chain that's been set up for people to, to, to dive into for the prime of their life up until the retirement age of whatever it is, 64, 65. Most people are working to be 70. Okay, cool. So now, you take that 15 hours and you multiply it by 52 weeks in a year. When you do the math, I'm sure you may be surprised to realize that you're spending less than 10% of your time, 10% of your life, 10% of your energy with the actual children that you brought into this earth. Now you do that every year for 18 years until your kid goes off to college. If they choose to go that route, then you don't see them anymore because they're off living their own lives. But you're not <clears throat> 20 or 30 anymore. Now you're 50, 55. And you sit back and you say, what the hell did I do with my life where I busted my butt to be able to pay these bills and provide for my children and provide for my spouse a life that maybe was not afforded to me? And now society says you have to work another 10 to 12 years and then you can retire and enjoy the rest of your life, however many years you have left. But I personally, I, Israel Leon, I think that's the biggest scam in the world. It's actually depressing. You want to know why people are having all these relationship problems with their children? Why kids are going astray? Why we need reform? It's because we as parents are not afforded based on the system that we live in. The actual time to put into our children to build them up the way we need to build them up. We're not afforded that because for the other 90% of our lives, we're in the system. I would challenge you, if you have the slightest entrepreneurial bug inside of you, if you have a business you can create, I would, I would inspire you and require of you to work to be able to require the finances to go into your entrepreneurial lifestyle. Because the life of an entrepreneur is definitely 24 hours, but guess what? You get to spend as much time as you want or as much time as you don't want with your child or with your spouse. And when you look back 20, 30, 40 years from now, I guarantee you, you'll have a more fulfilling life. Your kids will love you more. Your grandkids will love you more. And you'll be able to do better in life. You'll feel better in your heart. You ever wonder why grandparents sit there and love their grandchildren more? It's because now 
They have nothing but time on their hands, the time that they wish that they had to be able to spend with their children. They subconsciously are, are, are thinking about it and saying, I now have to pour into my grandchildren before my days are up on this earth. And it's a big problem. The left isn't talking about it. The right isn't talking about it. We need to talk about it. Let's have that dialogue. Tune into the next episode of Conversations from the Humidor, where we'll be discussing this in depth. And I hope that it inspires you, helps you, and motivates you to do something better with your life. Peace.